Hey there. We got ourselves a whole shitload of movies. We got them at a hell of a good price, too. We like to watch movies. We like to get drunk. Here's a drunk at the movies. All right. Who's ready for some drinking? I knew I am. Hey! What the hell is that? Who is it? Piece of chocolate. Piece of something. Oh, there you go, Louie. Louie's probably eating yeah. it. All right. All right. You ready? Down there. Oh, you're a little cat. Okay. okay. Hey, this here's Clint. This is Jim Bob. And we are the Whiskey Drink. That is right. And why are we here, you might ask? Well, it's funny they should ask. We're here for another one of them movie reviews. That's right. Welcome to Drunk at the Movies. Woo! Right we here. get drunk, we watch a movie, and we have a good time. Now, this one right here, we gotta dedicate to good old Darren Ritchie. Oh, I kicked oh, that oh, fucking oh, cock, oh, that oh, brother oh, cock. I kicked oh, the holy that shit. Because Darren gave us this movie and told us this would be a good one for us to review. Yeah, and you might know Darren from such films as, uh, I don't know, he's been in some he's films. He's been in a bunch of films. Yeah, and he usually calls himself Dr. Primo. Dr. Primo. And Primo. Darren may or may not be in an upcoming whiskey drinker. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's All true. right. Well, in spirit of Darren, I'm going to have me a Thirsty Dog uh, Brewing Company Brill Dog Smoked Black Lager. Now, if you look back. Yeah, he brought these over. He huh? brought that over. We drank that out in the woods. And I'm going to use this right here. What's that? This is a uh, bottle cap remover. We got this here from the Amazon oh, wish yeah. list. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Monosaur Gas. Monosaur Gas. And I haven't used this yet, so this is the first time. So let's see what it does. Let's go. Well, see, that's going to mess up our whole uh, crack review thing. Yeah, we'll do it again then. Yeah. So it right. worked pretty good though when we have. Yeah, Hell yeah. How's it taste? Like I remember it. Oh, not that great? Um, well, it's not too bad actually. It's. Uh, it's very interesting. You got a smoke flavor to it. Smoke taste. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Kind of hard to explain. Working on the railroad. It's actually pretty good. You get soot in your mouth. All right, anyways, the reason we're here is for this right here. Go ahead. Kung Fu Zombie. Kung Fu Zombie. 1981. Who does Billy this Billy Chong. Billy Chong's in his mf -er. And this was brought to you by Black Belt Theater. Yep. Um, now, something we were discussing, this is also a oh, real the, Kung Fu series. This is volume volume seven. 7. Um this movie's name originally probably was not Kung Fu Zombie. Well, Zone. actually, it might be because I was looking at that. Or actually, it on might be. IMDb. But some of these have 18 million names. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Because it's kind of, if you know anything about trauma, they buy movies from other companies to be made. Sometimes so. they'll rename them and stuff. Yeah. It's a common thing that happens to try to resell these movies to different markets and stuff. Yeah. So, but this one right here, I was assuming this one might be, well, first off, I think Black Belt Theater, the real Kung Fu series, I think they're probably putting together some of the best Kung Fu flicks Oh, and more stuff. than likely, yeah. So whenever you get something like this, you know, it might, good chance it'll be a decent film. Now, this one, decent, I'd say. I was expecting them to be shit. It was very interesting, I'll say that. As Darren would say, I was expecting them to be pure, pure shit. shit. But it actually ended up being all right. Yeah. Um, I, myself, am not a huge cheesy kung fu movie flick fan. I love them. He loves them. Uh, I like your more traditional ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, Like yeah, the Enter yeah. the Dragon and... Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Ricky Dragon Steamboat and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but the, what's, uh, what's knees is, like, funny to me. Because oh, yeah. their lips aren't moving right and... But yeah. there was very, very interesting things that went on in this movie that we you, did not expect. You've seen some of them effects they did, right? Oh, yeah. And that was back in the day. Some of it's corny and stuff, but some of it blues, blues your blues freaking your mind. mind. I mean, it just blues your mind completely red. And, it, I mean, could you re, could you redo some of that some of that footage? Oh, probably not. I couldn't either. Probably not. Interesting thing about these movies is that they were made with no money at all. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these are just low-budget movies. They're shitting them out left and right, trying to make a little bit of money so they can make something better. Oh, yeah, Usually. Yeah. usually. You're jumping on trends. Like this one right here, um, basically it is, uh, I have it written in my notes. Um, I don't know where it is, but it's basically like the Hammer films. So like the scribblings of a two-year-old. I know, I'm mad, man. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, this is like a combination of a bunch of things during that time period. You know, like the Hammer films, it's got a zombie stuff or whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And I think you're right. I don't think it was called Kung Fu Zombie because I don't think the name zombie was invented at this point in 1981. Could have been. Couldn't have been. I don't well, know. 
Don't quote me. When did 9 11 Dead come out? 1986? I mean? Before that, they were like island zombie, voodoo zombies. Yeah. And yeah. that's what these are voodoo yeah. zombies. Definitely different. Voodoo so, zombies can be controlled. Yeah. De definitely different. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, let me read, before we get into our review of it, let me Please read do. the plot summary and see if this is what we felt like we saw. All right. Kung Fu Zombie, 1981. A criminal comes to town in order to kill Billy Chong over a past dispute. But instead of getting his own hands dirty, he hires Teos Wizard to animate some zombies to do the job for him. Uh, the plan goes horribly awry, and the bad guy ends up getting killed in his own trap. This pisses off the villain's spirit and forces the priest to reincarnate him. Uh, only they can't find a suitable body. Meanwhile, the undead friend, this is what I watched, can very confusing. Yeah. An undead friend of sorts comes to town to kill Billy's father over some past disputes. This is where all of Billy's kung fu training comes in handy, and he manages to kill the attacker. With this, the other bad guy finally has a body to use, but the reincarnation goes wrong, and the corpse is reborn as a freaking vampire. That makes a little sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, guys, and that's interesting because you got a corpse being reborn as a vampire. Yeah. But yet the movie's kung fu zombie. There's zombies in it. There's some interesting shit. All right, now it starts out, and there's a weird. Uh, like Teos, uh, whatever they call it, the Tao. Yeah, I call it. Like, you call it Teo, it's actually pronounced Tao. Oh, well, I'm going to call this the, the voodoo guy, right? The voodoo guy. Voodoo guy, he's uh, controlling zombies with symbols. Yeah, yeah, he's a wizard. Yeah, a wizard. In all cultures, at all times throughout the world, the black arts of magic have been practiced. Voodoo, exorcism, vampirism have been known through history. But the arts of Maoshan magic of the ancient Orient combine the most dreadful of all of these. The renegade priests who practice the Maoshan are feared and hated for their unholy craft. Yeah, yeah, and you see this guy, he's controlling zombies. Uh, the boss sets up. Now, there's a boss there, like a bad guy or yeah, whatever. Yeah, And he doesn't like this other guy. And he's an idiot. He's a dumb fucking idiot. So he doesn't like this other guy, so he sets up this trap. It's basically... Uh, it's the old pitfall trap. You fall into a pit and it's, it's got, got a spice. bunch of spikes. Punchy spikes. Which I think in this one he uses the coffin lid and he puts a bunch of knives in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so, he covered up with sticks and grass. So his plan is he's going to get this Tails wizard to uh, go to do his little magic, get these zombies to scare this guy, yeah. whose name is Wang, I think. Yeah. And he'll scare them and fall into the knives and die. Because he doesn't like him or his dad. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. But as it says, it goes horribly wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then, uh, then, and then it cuts, like most hor most uh, kung fu movies, cuts to uh, this Wang guy beating the shit out of random people. Yeah. You don't know why. He's just walking down the street, minding his own business. Well, no, he's at, I think he's in his house or something. Well, but. No, no, he's walking down the street. Oh, really? Yeah, there's something like that. Well, no, so no, he is at that himself. point, yeah, yeah, because his dad's training him. Yeah. Right? His dad seems like an asshole. And he also kind of looks like a black guy from the 70s. Yeah, it was really, I did think he was a black yeah, guy. I said, hey, that, there's a black guy. And I'm like, no, that's his dad. Yeah, and I said, ooh. He did look Asian. It was weird. I felt, but he did look yeah. Asian. It just depends on how you looked at it in the right light, you know? Exactly, exactly. But then I went on to Twitter and I said some bad things about myself. So now I feel better yeah. about being white. Okay. Um, Wang is beaten up. Okay. No, no, no. Wang wants a night off. His dad, he's like, yeah. man, I don't need a night off. You know what I mean? His dad's not Tired. with it. What does his dad do? Kicks his ass. He fights him again. Uh, he swinging this damn, ends up being wood. Yeah, it's wood. Big wood staff. pole. Big staff. He's just swinging around. I said, what if your pa was doing that? Rest in peace, your pa. Uh, what if he was doing that, beating your ass with that pole? He kicked my ass. That way, you could kill somebody hitting him in the head with a pole. That's right. So, uh, ends up, his dad has a freaking heart attack. Yeah. Falls down. Right now, uh, well, you uh, think it's a heart attack. You think it's a heart you attack. Think it's hard. Be honest, I still to this moment don't know what the hell happened. I'm not sure either. He he had uh, maybe some gas. He might have had some gas. Some gas. So uh, so he's a crippled man. So so he has a friend. His friend's name's Hamster. Hamster. So Hamster, I thought he was setting him up and getting him, but Hamster ain't setting him up. No. I think they're just going for a walk. They're going out to town, but but meanwhile they're going to the middle of some woods where there's some graveyard. Yeah. So I don't know what what they're going it's to town. Ironically, well. happens to like, maybe they party in the graveyard. They might. We know who else That's parties in the, in the graveyard. It's true. Krug's on the party. That's right. Shout out. So, uh, and his friend's name's Hamster, which is Hamster. pretty funny. 
So Hampshire takes them there, and uh, uh, let's see, the trap with knives, and then the bo oh yeah, I want to. This is a I, random notes of a crazy person. Mm -hmm. The the <laughs> the uh, the boss's eyebrows and the father's oh, yeah. eyebrows on fleek. Oh yeah, they look like little caterpillars yeah. crawling on their face. Yeah, so I don't know why they do that. All right, so did you, did you talk about mole man yet? No, we're not there yet. You see there? Okay. Well, we'll talk about it. There's this one guy, there, right? and he's got this freaking mole on the side of his it face. It looks like a black thimble. It does, with face. hair coming out of it like a ponytail. Like as long as Jim Bob's hair. <laughs> it is really weird. It's strange. I don't know why they do that. It made no sense. And in this movie, you don't know if it's action. You don't know if it's comedy. You don't know if yeah, it's scary. Drama. What the hell's going on? You don't know if it's a civil war reenactment. <laughs> I mean, it's just all over the yeah, place. Yeah, it's pretty all over the place. So, uh, all right, so the boss, let's see... Let's see, he put away for... Oh, okay. So you find out that this boss, uh, the bad guy boss who's trying to put this kid in the, you know, in the pit, his dad put him away for 10 years or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Because yeah. his dad, I don't know if he's oh. a policeman or something. Because what happened was the bad guy and his goon squad there... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...were robbing a bank. Yeah. And um, uh, Wang? Yeah, Wang, Wang yeah. walks into the bank at that time oh, and yeah. ends up spoiling her shit and ends up beating her asses. So he wants revenge. And they get outside and they get arrested. So, yeah, that dude wants revenge. And he told him he learned Kung Fu in the prison. Yeah. And Wang said to him, like, where'd you learn it? I can't remember where. Uh, in the laundry room. In or the laundry like room that. or something, you know? Yeah. I learned Kung Fu. <laughs> How clumsy. I guess you studied in the prison laundry. Come here. You come here. You come here. Which he could have learned it there, and that Good doesn't him. make it any better than your kung fu. Way. I don't think that's right of you. We've all seen a karate kid. That's right. So, you know, we've seen Rockies chasing chickens. That's right. Beating you know? up fucking cows hanging from a butcher. That's right. That's what we do. Huh? All right. So uh, he wants revenge. All right. So uh, yeah, he gonna get it. Wang and the boss fight. Let's see here. Man, you got a lot of names. And I can't read what the hell. The guy, there's a guy summoning zombies or something. Yeah, the uh, the wizard. Yeah, he's summoning zombies. Zombies, they hop. Oh, yeah, they like, hop, hop like Mr. Like bunnies. That's kind of weird. weird. I don't think they did their zombie research before they made no, this. No, probably season. not. Um, Wang fights them. Boss, They're like, oh, them Westerners love zombies. We're going to put them in a movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it. All right, so then the boss ends up falling into pit of knives himself. Yeah. And which, which the whole time, they almost fall in. Remember? Yeah, and I think at one time, like, he does fall onto the pit, but the sticks don't break. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But at this point, he falls on, and I think it kills him. Yeah. So the boss is dead at yeah. this time. Um, then there's a crazy part where there's lightning in the sky, and it comes down, and it hits yeah. the dead boss. It looked real unrealistic. And there's this really cool thing it said before it. Remember that? Yeah, I don't remember what it's it like said. like a reading of a book. We'll play. Yeah. But this is now a place of Mao Shan magic. And where magic is beat, the forces of hell and nature are attracted. Uh, so he, sh he flashes off his rings. Yeah, because he's got three rings. Yeah. But and, uh, and they're like normal rings. It ain't a big deal. Yeah, they're like wedding rings. Maybe. So, uh... Maybe he's got three wives. Or so, three lives. So, <gasps> three. Three. Because the, the um, wizard guy says, I got three chances. True. And he's got three rings. True. It doesn't really like change the plot or anything, yeah, but yeah, it, it, it makes sense. So he's got three rings. The one guy, the wizard guy, whatever, he tries to pull them rings off. Yeah. Right as he pulls the last one off, the middle finger well, one, which well, I thought was funny. Well, wait, he pulls the one off, and then he turns his head, he's looking at the ring, and the finger goes... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see he's... And then does it the second one he's looking at? Yeah. Oh, the third yeah. one? Bam! What happened? Middle there? finger, bam, right there. And yeah, he uh, got the middle finger. He gets the fuck up. He got the... Oh, hell yeah. He freaks out. Oh, hell yeah. He freaks out, grabs this guy, beats shit out of my son. He tells him, all right, you need to, I, I need to be reincarnated into my own body. Okay? Yeah. So the guy said, all right, we can do it. Whatever. Remember how realistic the corpse looked? <laughs> oh, it looked so good. We'd like to pour the yogurt on his head or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're pretty, good. pretty good. So, uh. So he goes and looks at his body. His body scares the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. right. So uh, get it away from me, he says. Yeah. So uh, he goes. Uh, let's see. Then Wang and Hamster. I did write too many damn notes. Wang and Hamster goes home, and Hamster's dad's pissed again. What do you know? Because uh, he's still alive somehow. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, because he just had gas. It wasn't a heart attack. Yeah, I think it was just a heart attack. Yes. And he was just like tricking him or something. Yeah. Uh, Dad tries to kill son with a metal pole. Oh, maybe that's when that happens. Because it was a wooden pole. Oh, then he falls over the railing. Yeah, he falls over the rug, face cracks first his head. on the concrete, and dies. Yeah, that's when he fakes. 
No, that's when he died for real. Oh, okay, okay. So the voodoo guy finds the dad's body laying on the ground. Because remember, the son, he don't get care about his dad. Hamster's crying. But he's yeah, like, the son don't give him two fucks about him. He don't dad. get care about him at all. So uh, they just leave his body laying there. So uh, ham, uh, so the voodoo guy finds him, and he's like, oh, this will be the perfect body for yeah. my boss. But um, he grabs his dick while he's checking him, too. Yeah, he's measuring weird. him, and then he touches his wiener. Yeah, kind of weird. Making uh, sure the wiener's the right length. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, wouldn't you? Whatever. Reminds me of Rock and Roll Frankenstein, it which does. we'll have to watch. Yeah, which we can't tell anything about that movie. So, Boss's spirit can't attack Wang. He tries to jump at him, falls yeah, into a damn it doesn't work out well. But, later on, he's able to, like, touch other people, so I, I don't really get it. You know what I mean? Maybe if he would have went into Whoopi Goldberg's body or something, yeah, yeah, it, it would have made more sense. But, I mean, that might be Patrick Swayze only. That's true. Yeah, we never know. Only Patrick Swayze. I wish Patrick Swayze would come into my body. I wish Patrick Swayze uh, no, was still no. alive. Rest in peace, Patrick. That's real gross what I just said. I don't want Patrick Swayze coming <laughs> into my body. All right, so anyways. Yeah, uh, we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, so. You're going to have ghost babies. <laughs> You're going to have I'm spirits flowing all through you, son. I'm a damn butt. <laughs> all right, so uh, the, the dad tries to. All right, uh, Jesus. Is that Patrick Swayze on yeah, your lips or just sperm? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can go all Good day. Good thing these videos aren't monetized. <laughs> so can Patrick. <laughs> all right, so back to this Kung Fu movie. All right. <laughs> so the uh, so Wang doesn't care about Dad. Okay, doesn't I told you care about, about that. Him at all. Um, is his dad dead? We don't know. Um, we're pretty sure because they buried. Oh him yeah, because he woke up. <laughs> no, no, no. He woke up and then he's talking to him and stuff. And we were like, "What the hell?" Uh, Wang said that his dad was just faking it. So his dad faked it. His dad did fake it. I have anybody know? Damn no. The voodoo guy heads off. Oh, no. Remember he hits his head off that fat girl, the fat lady's tits? And he goes... Bum, bum, bum. Well, yeah, that's because he's in... The wizard's in the uh, the restaurant, and the ghost of the bad guy is yeah. touching up on that prostitute. Oh, yeah, yeah, And she smacks him, smacks the wizard, thinking it's the wizard touching her. Well, yeah, that happens... Well, real quick, let me just... Uh, we're getting to that. So, Wang... There's a point where Wang's training or something, and he chugs this bowl of oh, yeah, water, water, but it's... Pit yellow it looks like piss. Yeah, it's and then, very weird, very strange. Then there's this is the part in the Kung Fu movies where it always something happens, and then at the end they remember it, which had happened. He remembered yeah. it, and then they would use that same technique to get him out of something. So this one right here, uh, he's inside this weird clay pot. Yeah, and it's full of water, and he's tied up. Yeah, and then he breaks out of it. You know the part we didn't talk about? What's that? The atomic Galbo. No, that's not yet. Oh, I thought it happened. No, no, no. Uh, his dad's Spoiler broke, alert. stick on over son, blah, blah, bad guy, looks for body and casket, bosses. Okay, so that's where he tells him you have three chances. We okay. kind of talked about that. The bad guy, or the Touch wizard someone. tells the other guy you got three chances to get into a body. So basically, fuck these notes. Um, well, hold on here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, they did that weird ritual. Mm. Uh, to put the boss back in the first body they tried. They found the best body they could in this morgue or something. Uh, did this weird ritual, and then uh, this body gets up and runs off. Okay, because that's the... Uh, what we can go ahead and say? That's the vampire guy. No, the vampire guy's the second guy. Oh, I thought it was. The first guy runs off. So they're like, damn, well, there goes your first chance. Let's go to the second one. What does that guy do? Runs straight to the house of Wang and his father, and he wants to get paid back because Wang, he was part of the bank robbery, I think. Okay. I think that's what's happening. You guys, right, right down there. The, I thought that was the vampire guy. Because I thought he died a second time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that was the same guy. Well, I, I, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, because he dies there. They find his body and they bring him back. All right, the second time him. he says, now I'm immortal. I can't die. But they bring back three people, basically. Or they uh, two people or something. Two people, one twice. The third time, second removed. I don't know. All right, so there's a point where they got to like stick spikes in his body. Uh, if, you yeah, know, I'm seven, kind of thinking spikes. F these notes, and uh, they're trying to stick mm. these spikes in his damn body. Because uh, that's how he controls them. Yeah, exactly. The spikes will allow him to control. Yeah, because basically what happens is they have this body, they bring it back to life, and then it's crazy and trying to attack him or run or yeah. whatever the fuck. So they got to stick these spikes in, then they can control it, then they can put the guy's body into it. Yeah. It's a damn complex movie it right here. It was a complex movie. So, uh, I'm That's just, your typical Kung Fu movie. So there's a guy that comes out, he looks like Raiden. That right there is the vampire. Yeah. Now, Raiden... He has a Raiden hat on and everything, takes it off eventually. Uh, he goes, and that's the guy who, every time you see him, you're kind of getting bored with the movie. This guy shows up. Oh, it kills somebody to death. Oh, yeah. What the hell did he do? He uh, punched that one guy, punched him in the face. Yeah. 
And then he punched them one time, and they flew up against the telephone pole or something, and they kicked their head off. Shit. Like, it was actually a pretty good fight scene. Yeah, uh, if you guys watch this movie or don't watch, just watch it for this guy's little scenes. Cause it, it's an hour and 18 minutes long, and about 18 minutes of its movie. He takes a guy, and he spins his whole body around oh, yeah. and throws him. He's Man. like spinning him with one hand. Yeah, I mean, you guys watch It's crazy. Cool. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. So, anyways, then it comes to the part, like you were saying, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a part where the guy goes, uh, how can you last this long, like fighting me? You know yeah. What I mean? And the other guy says, "We're horse trainers." Yeah. And then the dad laughs. It's impossible. How can you last this long? <laughs> Don't you know? We're horse trainers. <laughs> My father trained me as a horse. Now I see why. He did it just for this day. <laughs> Which don't really get that. I think that's one of them um, things that didn't translate too well into English. I think it takes endurance to be a horse trainer. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking it didn't translate well. It's not the best, and it's not the first thing I'd go to whenever I'm thinking of stuff. But anyways. Yeah, maybe horse trainer should have translated to like long distance runner. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe. So Wang is fighting these guys, and all of a sudden, freaking chains come out of his leg. Don't oh, yeah. They don't explain this. Chains come out of his leg, wrap around them, right? Finds himself in a freaking predicament. And he's doing a fucking Irish folk dance, and the guy's yeah. just flipping all around and shit because he's tied to the chains. So then he's in the chains, and he's like this, and what he remembers back to whenever he was in that clay pot meditating. And he goes, Rah! and he breaks through yeah. the chains, and then he's free again. And then um, and then Amazing. that right there. Oh, yeah, and then he's punching him, and Wang spits water out of his mouth because there's a point where he chugs water. Yeah, and, yeah I don't know. It's very strange. You keep remember he's fighting and they keep throwing water on him. Yeah, We're training them. I, don't I know. almost wonder if that was like a, a form of distraction. I think a fight with it could, yeah, it could be. could be, could be, or he just gets really hot. It could be, and when he spits out the water, it just could be like a way to show, like you know, kind of like Rocky, the spit shit out and make yeah, it look or like, he's dehydrating or something. <laughs> it could be beating the water out of him. All right, now right here, spoiler alert: if we have maybe he's pregnant and retaining water. It could be. Spilled. He's bloated. Now, we're trying not to spoil this. We're not going to tell you the ending, but this is a little bit of a spoiler alert. Now, whenever they're fighting him, um, he kills, somebody kills somebody with an atomic elbow drop. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking, this is Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, like WCW. Got the people's elbow. And they get the shot of it. He could have done anything, yeah. but he done a people's elbow to him. It was him. pretty cool. Pretty amazing. Now we know where The Rock got it. That's true. He probably watched this movie. So, uh... Way to go, Rock. Still in other people's moves. That's right. All right, so uh, then uh, he gives... Somebody gives Wang these Asian quarter rolls. I oh, yeah. That down. It was real weird. Yeah, but they didn't look like quarters. They just looked like brown pieces of metal. Yeah, and they were in these rolls. It was weird. I don't know. If you guys got those, send them to us because we really want some of those. Yeah. Those are cool. They look like they're valuable. So the son doesn't give a fuck about the dad. We yeah, talked about that. The son does not care... Uh, Wang does not care about his old man at all. This is boiling down to Probably because his dad kept trying to... Kill him with that fucking I know. Stick. I'd hate my dad if he was like that to me all the time. Um, I understand he's trying to train me. He isn't that trying to kill me. Uh, there's music throughout it that sounds like Clockwork Orange music. Yeah. It sounds like they kind of stole the same kind of notes off of that. Uh, once again, these are just little random notes. But when did Clockwork Orange come out? That was in the mid-80s, wasn't it? It could have been. I bet you they stole it off of that. I bet you they did. It was though. probably early. No, it was like late 70s or something. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, bad guys wake up. Another spirit, weirdo disco lights happen. Um, yeah. Boss kicks voodoo guy in the nuts. Oh, yeah, because he couldn't get it to work. He kept doing these like voodoo chants or whatever. And then all of a sudden, the boss kicks him in the nuts. Oh, and the yeah, guy yeah. wakes up all of a sudden. Oh, because uh, the guy couldn't get the uh, the right pitch in his voice. That's what it is. Oh, that guy kicked him in the nuts and not that gave him to the right pitch. He gave him to falsetto or whatever. Yeah. So uh, that guy runs away. Uh, that's an ongoing thing. Yeah. People run, run away. run away all the time in this shit. So. Mm -hmm. Wang and Hamster burn money for some weird reason? Yeah, I don't know why. They're like sitting at his dad's funeral or whatever. Which is just him and Hamster. And, and, and he doesn't care about his father either. At all. So then they leave after burning the money. Still doesn't make sense. Uh, bad guys dig up father. As that's going to be the third time that they get to, you know. Yeah. So Because uh, he devises a plan that if he uses, if he inhabitates the body of Wang's father, 
then they can convince him to do things. Oh, wow. Because it's a... I didn't even catch that. Oh, they even said it right it's there. Yeah. Think about 12 other things. All right, I'm writing all these stupid notes that don't even matter. All right, so uh, let's see here. Uh, they dig him up. Shit goes crazy. Shit goes crazy. There's a bad guy with a mole in his face. Yeah. Uh, all hairs. Then there's a guy with a leaf hat, and he's wearing a leaf hat so he can get in so the Buddha, Buddha magic won't get him. Because there was three things. Only two places ghosts can't go, according to legend. Only two? two? The first, in a temple. Second, in jail. Are those the only places? Yeah, except for one other method. But you wouldn't be interested. Hey, oh, what is it? Huh? A leaf hat. Um, the vampire guy couldn't get you if you went into the... Buddha uh, temple. The temple? Yeah. Because it'd be like the equivalent of our like, church. The Buddha thing would shoot lasers and stuff yeah. at you. Lasers. Uh, if you went to jail. Yeah. I don't know why going to jail matters. And the third one was if you wore a hat made of leaves. Yeah. Then you were invisible. Yeah. So that's weird. And that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Or none at all. So uh, that happens. This guy shaves his head real quick on the streets, and then all his hair piles up. That was kind of cool. I'm not sure why he was shaving his head. To become part oh, of the temple. Oh, because he went to the Buddha temple. So he's, yeah. he's in the Buddha temple, and he's staying there. Stupid fat guy. And then he's like playing with this little puppy, and it was adorable. And then the next thing you know, he's got this pot of stew, and he's cooked the puppy. Yeah, he said the puppy tastes good or something. He said the puppy yeah. tastes good, and then the Buddha guy comes over, and he goes, you need to get the fuck out of here. Kicks him out. Doing that shit. So, uh, yeah, the power of the Buddha... Guy slap kicks a guy's face after grabbing a lady's ass. Yeah. It, like he does the van, you know, like that. Psh, 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 psh. One of those bills in the face. It happened. It, it happens. Charles, go on. No way. It's you again. Guy kills bum, pushes him, kicks his head off, and eats him. That's the vampire guy. Oh, yeah, guy. the vampire guy. That's uh, when you kind of first see that he's like a vampire. Punches guy's face, and then windmills his body. He, okay. he is a beast. Yeah. Uh, Getting through this, a guy named Wang, uh, Wang, they called him Pipe Bomb, remember? Like, yeah. you're, you're a pipe bomb. I don't remember that. Pipe Bomb. Well, there's a part where they called him Pipe Bomb, and they that did. makes no sense. No. At least, uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, three, okay, Three Stooges, superhero movies, Hammer films. Those are things oh, yeah, I yeah. think that they're yeah, kind of yeah. influenced by. Uh, makes sense. Really funny practical effects. Yes. Really funny, uh, you yes. know, lightning from Buddha eyes and shit. Uh, the guy's fangs stuck out like this. Yeah, they were uh, how very, very big fangs. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of weird. And, like when he closed his mouth, you could see them like actually pushing out on his lips. It was, yeah, didn't look comfortable. Yeah. Or natural. But he, the guy ends up knocking one of his freaking fangs yeah, out. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Um, let's see here. I oh. thought that was going to be the way to kill him because he had to remove his fangs. It's true. That's what I thought was coming. Could have been. It didn't come. That's what I thought was coming. There's a part where a guy super runs. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. he runs real fast and he just speeded up. And then the Buddha monk kind of powers him up. Remember that? Yeah, because the uh, the Buddhist monk, who the only time you see him in a movie is whenever yeah. he kicks out the fat guy. Yeah. And then he just shows up out of nowhere. Gives him this. Uh, Buddha, gives him some Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> yeah, some Mardi Gras beads. And then he and, talk, and then throws a bunch of sticky notes on him and sends him on his way. That's true. Fight. Stuck all these sticky notes, so he became like Fucking super Buddha. powered, right? He was like the uh, you know like the. Freaking Power Ranger guy, yeah. every, you know. Yeah. So, anyways, he's super powered. Then, spoiler like alert, the right Asian here. Ranger. Spoiler alert, right here. He took his shoes off. The the other guy took. He remember he came out of his shoes. Then his fucking hands got started on fire. Started oh, yeah. on fire. And he's fighting them. And then his feet came on fire. And he's fighting this guy. It's on fire. Him with fire. That was, that was pretty cool. Pretty badass. That's kind of cool. And somebody probably got burnt in the making of that. More than likely. All right, and then, they don't have insurance, so and then, they have to deal with it. Now, how do you kill a vampire with crazy teeth? You take him, you, uh, you wrap your fucking Buddha beads around his head, jump up in the top of a tree, and you hang him. Hang him from the Buddha beads, and then you go, oh, here's a little branch right here, a little, 
You grab that fucking thing and then you, you stab, stab it in his head, head out of his repeatedly head repeatedly while blood spraying on your face. That's how you I'm kill him. That's how he killed him. It was a pretty good ending. What the fuck? Weirdest ending I've oh, wait, no, that wasn't ever seen. That wasn't even the ending. Weirdest ending we ever Should seen. Should we tell him the ending? Uh, yeah, because it's you're not gonna watch this. Okay, so yeah, that's true. So wizard guys running down the road, all right? Yeah. And all of a sudden these zombies come out of nowhere. There's a bunch of zombies yeah. coming down the road after them. And boom. fucking boom. The and end. The end. That's it. That's and, it. And the big thing about it is the timing of it is real weird. Yeah. They're no like, fucking idea what that. Like you're like, oh, as soon shit. as your eyes adjust to the effect there's zombies coming out, boom. The end. Yeah, you're done. <sighs> So it's kind of like, fuck you, you just want this whole thing. That was really weird. I want to see real quick what IDMB gives it. They give, a rating? Yeah, I think they have a rating. Shit. I don't know, fuck you. We, uh, we, Kung uh, Fu Zombie. Before, now, he doesn't like, you know, he doesn't really watch a lot of Kung Fu movies. Understandable. I got. I, I, like, the, I like the good ones. I built up the tolerance for it and stuff uh, to watch these cheesy ones. And this one right here uh, is a pretty good one for being cheesy. It's got decent production value, got some good effects. Boring at times. Um, I think, but I've seen other things. I can't remember what the other one's called. Vampire versus Zombie or something. Yeah. That one was so bad. This one, at least, is watchable. And I think that's it. You seem like you're going to get a bed. Yeah, I'm going to bed. All right. Thank you, guys. All we'll right. see you next time.